Hey, what's up guys? A lot of you have asked me how to install Jasmine ROM version 5.0, so I figured I'd go ahead and make that video for you guys. I love this ROM. I've been using this ROM since I first installed it, and it has been amazing for me, especially the battery life. Now, I do have the Zero Lemon 9000 milliamp hour battery, but still, the battery life is really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install this. So, you see right here, I have the XDA thread pulled up. And what you want to do is make a backup, of course. I've already done that because I'm just going to restore my backup after doing this video. But you want to download and extract the ROM. You want to make sure you don't have any partition images. If you have any files that end with .img on your SD card, you want to move those or just rename those to .bak. You know, just... Then you want to reboot to recovery. And then you want to run these commands. So, of course, I have my computer open because I can see the commands better than using my Lumia 1320 because Internet Explorer on Windows Phone is just not optimized for pretty much anything at all. But I do have this for sale on Swappa if you guys are interested. Um, I will leave a link below to that. So there's that. That was a little bit of product placement from just me, I guess. So basically, just download the ROM from the link below from the XDA thread, of course. And then what you want to do is you want to go to your downloads folder using ES File Explorer. I find is the easiest way. So there's there's that. But um, once you find Jasmine ROM, you just want to long press it. Then you want to hit a little more, and then you want to hit Extract too. And that's pretty much it. So you're just gonna extract the ROM. It doesn't take it takes a little bit, but you will get these files right here. What you want to do is if you long click, and then you just want to check all these, and then you can hit Copy. And that's that's all I did. I hit copy, and then I moved them to my internal SD card. And then you see them all right here. You know, the, all the .img files and everything like that. So that's pretty much it. Um, not that hard, you know, not too complicated. But you do want to make sure that you have all the files, you know, where they aren't. Like, they're all like the .img, the .sh. You want to make sure that it looks like this before, you know copying them to your SD card so there's that but let's go ahead and if you have your phone turned off you can press volume down and power and then when you see the LG logo you can press volume up and power really quick to get into recovery this ROM doesn't have the advanced reboot menu you can just restart your phone but you can't reboot into recovery so I'm using an app like quick boot because it's just a lot easier especially trying to turn this phone off and then if you know, I gotta pull the battery. <laughs> Trying to get this case out to pull the battery is like just punching yourself in the face. But what you wanna do is you wanna go to wipe. You wanna wait for twerp to respond, I guess. You wanna go to wipe. You wanna just do a random factory reset. You wanna go back. You don't have to do that, but I do. You wanna go to advance and then terminal command. And then you wanna choose like where you wanna op open up the command prompt. It's kinda like Windows course we're going to do SD card and then we're going to hit select and then if you remember those you know the code that we put earlier that's basically what you want to put so I'm going to put CP which change path and slash SD card and not sure how well it's picking on camera let me zoom in a little bit that way you guys can see it maybe a little bit better and then slash install rom dot sh make sure you guys can still see that and then you want to hit space slash sbin and then slash so you want to change the path to that you want to hit go and then you want to hit back to get this out of there it bothers me that it doesn't take care of that for you but you won't notice anything like until you actually hit the install but then we're we're gonna do chmod, if I spell it right, chmod. It's kind of hard to do this behind the camera. I'm sorry. Then you want to hit space. Want to go to number pad zero seven five five. Space. Go back slash spin. And then you want to do slash install. And then you want to do rom. I accidentally hit the number pad. No, I don't do that. O M dot S H and then you want to hit go and then we ch modded that and then 
basically you want to go back again it kind of bothers me you got to do that but sh and then space dash spin and then slash install then caps you want to make sure these are in caps by the way you also want to make sure you don't hit the number pad because you know dot sh and this is going to run the install script and you see right there it's installing jasmine rom so I mean, yeah, you, I mean, if you see like the command prompt, you're gonna be like, oh god, I'm kind of scared. But if you just follow the code and everything, it's honestly not too bad. You just want to make sure you have all of the, you know, all of the uh, the files on on your SD card, or if you have them in a different like folder, like if you have them in that Jasmine folder, you can like just choose to use that folder. As you've seen, I chose SD card. But, you just, of course you got to change the uh, the command prompt where it says slash SD card. You know you just got to change that. But this will take a while. It took like I think five minutes for me when I first installed this ROM. So I will be back when this is done. Maybe. All right, and it is done. Now it will say that it ran out of space, like a couple lines, like way up there. But just just ignore that. Just let it keep going. It installs the modem, the kernel, radio, everything. And yeah, once it's done, you'll see this line at the bottom again. And then, of course, you can just hit exit. Because, you know, we don't need, we don't need that. Actually, you can just make it easier on yourself and hit reboot. Because, you know, it makes it easier on both of us. Ah. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now this this is a fresh install. It probably is going to take a little bit to reboot, but this is only the stock base. Just a little heads up. This is completely stock, but it is rooted. You are going to want to download the 5.11 update, which is the one that I was running, which adds, you know, all of the fixes. It removes all the bloatware. Um it has the split window, of course, but that's the stock LG feature. But it has it turned on for all apps. And, yeah, it pretty much fixes everything from this build. But you do want to boot into this first before, you know, installing that. But you want to dirty flash that. So you all, all you want to do is wipe the cache and delve the cache and then install the 5.11 update. Which I'll show you guys after this is done booting up. You will get the Verizon boot animation. Oh, they didn't show it this time, but I'll show you guys after we reboot. Alright guys, so the phone has booted up and I connected to my Wi-Fi because you see Verizon is kind of slow, so there's that. But I did download Quick Boot. Let's see, find it in here. Um, Waiting for it to install, I guess. Don't show again, no, go away. Okay, so yeah, it's it's installing. Because there is a problem with this ROM where you cannot boot into recovery with volume down, power, and then volume up in power. So, But the good news is, is that this does have root, so we can go ahead and go to recovery. But in the same XDA thread that you find 5.0, you will find 5.0.11, which is the update to this, and it fixes like everything wrong with this. It removes all the Verizon bloat crap. Um, it adds all all apps for multi window. Adds a bunch of tweaks that he's put in himself. And by the time you're watching this, if there's any update, you can also follow this same exact method for the update. So this will work for any update after 5.0, as long as it doesn't say like 6.0. Anything with 5.0 first, and then like the other number. This will work perfectly fine. You just want to go to wipe, delve it cache, and then cache. Then you want to slide that over. It doesn't take too long. You want to go home or just go back. Then you want to go to the install and you want to go to your download. Mine is on the extern or the internal. So I'm going to go to my downloads. And then you see Jazz and ROM version 5.0 there. But there's also you see I love Illusion ROM on my Verizon G3. I just I just love it. But you see Jazz Jazz ROM version 5.0.11. Dot 
Now, say he releases an update, say tomorrow, and it's 5.0.12, you can use this method to install that as well. So, um, also, if you have any other you know kernels that you want to use, you should install those now. But you do want to boot into you know the stock-based ROM at least once, you know, completely before doing this. And then you go ahead and reboot system, and that's it. You're now running Android 5.0 with LG's custom software. And if you have any questions or I was too complicated or something, just let me know and I'll try to explain it better. Um, but for the first one, it's you know the main part. You just want to make sure you put in those commands properly. And after that, make sure you boot into it at least once before doing anything to your phone. Um, and then after you boot into it, you can go back into recovery. They say that it's best if you do a factor reset from within settings, um, you know, on the stock-based ROM. But I just, yeah, it's it's okay. You don't have to do that. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, you know, questions, just leave a comment below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.